Hey guys, it's me again, Chris. Um, today I'm going to make a quick tutorial, so pretty much we're going to just get started and go through it real quick. Open up your image, and I'll create three copies of the layer. Hit Command J three times, now you get your three. Let's rename this really quick. First one, let's call it DB. It's going to be uh, for dodge and burn. Next one, call it sharp. And the third one, let's just call it sharper. All right, now we're going to select these first two. Actually, hit them together and give them overlay blending mode. Now select one at a time, go to image, adjustment, and desaturate. Both the sharp and the sharper layer. All right, now just select one at a time. For this one, let's just select sharper and then go to filter, other, high pass. And for this, let's just give it like a four. You don't want to sharpen it too much. This is just going to be really, really soft, detailed. All right, now open up the other image. And do the same thing, but this one, give it a 23. It's going to be a lot more dramatic. The colors are going to be a little bit more uh, grungy looking and popped out. But this is what you want. The only thing is you don't really want on the background. You don't want to have all these blurred out trees look fake sharp. So what you're going to do is actually create a new mask and hide the sharpness from everything else except the girl. So so go ahead and create the mask and now select your fill tool, select black and fill that. So everything else doesn't have the color anymore. Select your brush now and with a white color on the mask, paint it with white over the girl and this will start bringing the detail back. So basically the adjustment you just made is not going to show except only where you paint white over it. So I'll do this kind of in uh, quick motion. I'll fast forward a little bit. All right, and from here, we're going to add another mask exactly the same to the next layer. So select the next layer. And while holding command, click the mask. That's going to give you the exact selection. So now create a new mask. And it's going to be basically a replica of the last one. So as you can see, it only sharpened the girl. And now you're good to go. All right, so let's move on. Now that you have this part, let's go ahead and begin adjusting the lights and the colors. So let's call this glow. And we're gonna set the blend mode to screen. Now, set your color to like a kind of a warm yellow. So something kind of a goldenrod color. Uh, if you can't figure out a good color, you can use FFD953. Go ahead, hit OK. Set a soft brush, kind of a big one, and we're going to create basically a fake sun glow. So drop the opacity a little bit. Hardness all the way to zero. And just fill it in slowly and uh, kind of uh, as natural as you can. So what we're doing here is basically adding the haze of the sun, almost like if uh, if it was kind of a fo I don't know, like a foggy, hazy day. Basically, it's just glowing in the air right now. So fill up the top parts of the sky. Don't get it too much on uh, on the walking girl because then it's gonna just she's gonna start blending in too much into the background, and it's gonna be hard to differentiate her from it. So be careful with that. If you do get some on her, just erase it a little bit. Not 100% because then it's going to seem like she's popping out of the image in a really awkward way. So once you're happy with that, create a new adjustment layer, make it curves, hit OK. Now drop this part down a little bit on the RGB, put this part up just a little bit. Always be really minor with your detail uh, adjustments. Raise the red and drop the blue. And note where I'm dropping them from. You don't really want to just grab and drop from any point. These points where I'm dropping and how much I'm dropping is uh, kind of important. Or it's pretty important. All right, so now we're going to go new adjustment layer, hue saturation, hit OK. This is what's going to change all the colors. So you can really select whatever the heck you want. But for mine, I'm going to drop it down to something that makes the leaves look kind of uh, Kind of a magenta purple, but not too crazy to the point that everything looks like it's completely unnatural. So, let's see, this is 
kind of alright. I like it right here. Now, one thing you're going to notice though, is that the sun changed colors. Suddenly the sun's not yellow anymore. This is because the sun is below your adjustment layer, so we can fix this right now. So as you can see, it's given it more of a peach color. And all you have to do to fix this is grab your uh, your glow layer and bring it above the hue and saturation layer so it's no longer affected by it. And as soon as you drop it, you'll see the sun changes again. So this is what you wanted it as, or how I want it, so we'll go with that. Now the last thing, you don't want the girl to look completely like she's purple too, because now it looks like the whole image was just kind of crappily changed color. So you want to make sure that she gets a little bit of her natural color back. So select the mask, and with a brush, and with a black brush. Slowly drop the opacity on her until she looks a little bit more natural. You don't want her to turn completely green, because if you erase all the color from her, all the color adjustment, Instead of going pink, she's going to go completely green, not just gray. So what's going to happen is basically all the reflected light from the grass and the leaves and all that is going to show up. And it's going to look really obvious and unnatural because, well, right now she should be glowing a little bit pink, but instead she's going to be just straight up green. So as you subtract some of the color, be sure you leave some behind just enough so it looks kind of correct. You're going to select the DB layer, which is basically dodge and burn, and we're going to select our dodge tool. Select uh, midtones and the strength about 20%. And now be sure that's a super soft brush and just gently smooth in this side. And it's going to give her the fake highlight that the sun would have given her. And just feather it in kind of gently. Now you notice that the things that you highlight will tend to look more um, like as if they come forth and the things you darken will sink. So this is an easy way to contour. Uh, the better you get you can contour portraits with this rather than moving pixels around. Now select your burn tool and add a bit of drama to the darkened edges. Now it's easy to overdo this, so be careful and kind of monitor your progress as you go. Now if you notice that you can't darken something anymore, it's probably because it's already too dark and it's gone into the shadows uh, portions. So if you d think you can't darken something anymore, double check that. And always, if you feel you've done too much, you can always undo. Alright, I'm pretty happy with this. Now, darken her hair a little bit just so it doesn't look like she's blending too much into the background. Alright, and I'm happy with this. Now, there's too much dead space, so what we're going to do is crop it 16 by 19. And put her in these little cross lines on the rule of thirds. It just gives it a nice composition and makes it look like she has some looking spaces uh, as if she's going to be walking into the rest of the frame. And just these little gauges, or these little guides are pretty good indicators of, um, I guess, not really proper composition, but better composition than just randomly tossed in there, or boringly in the center. So once you find a spot you like, commit to that. And that's it, you're done. Once you hit enter, save it as, and you're good to go. And if this is your next tutorial that you've done and you've done some of the other ones, uh, congratulations on following up. And uh, let me know what you'd like to see in the future tutorials. Again, my name is Chris Gonzalez. This is my visual poetry. Don't forget to subscribe. And I'll uh, see you next time.